So why is comm so complicated? It's funny because I don't actually think of comm as being complicated. In fact, I like to say that I can explain pretty much everything you need to know about comm in about you know, in 10, maybe 15 minutes. Until you get to the parts that aren't, aren't easy. And then all of a sudden, well, if you have four or five hours, I can maybe explain some of it. Because the, uh, the part of the beauty of the comm, the one reason I love working on comm, is that 90% of what you need to know and what 90% of the people need to know can really be explained in 15 minutes. But once you start peeling the onion back, it's a very, very deep onion. It has lots and lots and lots and lots of layers. And every one of those layers adds a little bit of complexity. So, so COM itself is actually pretty simple. Um, actually, in fact, there's a version of COM on essentially every major operating system platform out there. Heck, even, um, even the GNOME ID, the, the GNOME development environment, the, the windowing environment for Linux has the Bobino object, which if you look at the documentation, it says derived from comms I unknown. But uh, Firefox's extension, NSAPI has it. Um, OS 10 has a version of it. It's ubiquitous. The concepts involved are everywhere. But so it, it is really very simple and very, you know, it's, it's incredibly flexible and wonderful until you start getting into the really hard stuff. But the easy stuff, the most, no, that's all you ever need is the easy stuff. So it's very complicated because it needs to be complicated because it does a lot of different things. But it's also pretty easy for the things that you really need to use all the time.